I'm Katrina, and this is So in Terror. Have you put up your supplemental light, and it was working great, and you're starting to see eggs, egg production drop off? Here's something to check. If you set up your supplemental light on a timer, <clears throat> you need to pay attention to when your sunset is currently happening. So the sun is going down right there right now, and that is something that you have to pay attention to. As the season changes, so once you have about 14 to 16 hours of light is what your birds need to, your quail need to produce eggs. Once you have that figured out, when that light starts to go below the 16 hours about, you set up your lights. You set them up on timers and then kind of forget about them. It happens. You forget about, okay, I have it set. It's on timers. I don't have to remember. But what happens is that sunset gets earlier and earlier and sunrise gets later and later. So what can happen is if, if you don't check what your actual sunset and sun uh, rise is as you continue uh, into the year, then you could be missing out on some of your hours. If that happens, then your birds are going to drop in their productivity and give you less eggs. So now's the time to check that and you're going to check it again as you keep going. I'll show you guys what I have for my system for my timer and you can go from there and see what you want to do. Uh, you have two uh, choices to do with your timer. One is to only have your light on for that extra time and the other one is to have your light on the whole entire time. So if you want to just set your timers for 16 hours and have your lights on during daylight hours, that is completely fine, especially if you have a LED light. So that's one option. Another option is to have it come on in the morning before sunrise and in the evening after sunset. And my advice to you if you do that is to have some overlap with the actual light and then to check it every few weeks. Um, check and make sure your timing is right and have that overlap uh, to make sure that to make sure you maintain those 16 hours of light. We're gonna go look at my timer and I'll show you what I do. And I use rope lights. If you haven't seen the rope light setup video, I will link it up ahead, above, and uh, you can check out how, how I set that up. And then um, we're going to have supplemental light on the birds all the way through the winter. And then in the spring, once it naturally, kind of late spring, once it naturally gets to 16 hours of light uh, naturally, then I'll just shut them off. So they're going to be on for, you know, a lot of the year. So here we go. I'll show you what I have going on. All right. So we're in the garage. This is where I have my timer set up. I'll zoom in here and show you guys a timer. You can use any timer. This one happens to be an indoor timer and I do have it inside the garage. It comes in through uh, a window kind of clamped down tight so animals don't get in and it comes in through through that and connects up here I have to use an extension cord for this you're not really supposed to use those for any timer but I don't see any way around it so um, that is my setup let me show you let me show you um, a close-up all right so this is the timer that I use and I don't know if you can tell but there are each of these little you can kind of see it has texture each of those is each half hour has a little a little thing you can push down so you push it down and that means the lights on pull that back up and so what I do is here's the morning and I actually have it coming on at 530 and I have it set all the way through 830 right now our light our, you know the Sun comes up um, you know a lot a lot sooner than 8:30, but that way I don't have to check it when it the light does get less. So, um, I I don't need to go out and check and worry about them not having enough light. And so the the other part here it tells you what time it is now, and uh, the other part here I have it go on before the sun sets. So like right now it is still light outside, 
but I have the light go on. That way it's not a shock to the system, um, like the sun doesn't set and then poof, the light goes on. You know, that would be kind of weird <laughs> and get out of the natural rhythm of things. But then I have it shut off at 10 p.m. So that gives my birds enough light on either side to get that 16 hours. It's a little, I think it's like a half hour more. Is that what I did? Anyway. Uh, I don't have it on in the middle of the day because I don't need it on in the middle of the day. Um, they get natural light because they're outside, they're in the aviary, so they don't actually need that. If you're in a building or in an indoor setting, you would have it all the way, all the, all the time. Um, I could have it all the time and it would be fine to leave those lights on all day. They're LED, it doesn't draw much electricity and so it wouldn't really cost, it wouldn't really cost anything extra to run all day but I'm just choosing to save the life of the actual rope light and um, and do it this way. So that's my setup and um, that is something to check. So that being said, um, these, keeping these lights going uh, just before, you know, keeping it on either side of sunrise and sunset, to me that works. Some people let them, um, rise with the sunshine with the sun and then have extended light at the end some people prefer to have that light on early and then let them have natural sunset so totally up to you multiple ways to do this i would not leave it on all the time because the birds do need to sleep and one other thing is if you you know it's not an issue you do not have to put light on your birds if you want eggs year round, you do have to, um, unless you live in the tropics. So, so if they are already getting that natural light year round, then you, you likely will get eggs year round. But if you live, you know, I'm in California and so we do have the difference in, in latitude. Um, we have the difference in sun, uh, in the winter and in the summer, then if I want my birds to lay year round, I do need to put supplemental light on them. They do not need supplemental light. If you want to give your birds a break and not have them lay in the winter, you don't need to do any of this. And just know that when they get below 16 hours of light, of natural light, then that will, um, they'll stop laying, you know, it'll drop off gradually and they'll stop laying. They'll, they'll get out of their breeding behavior. And that is completely natural. So um, just know that that's natural, that's fine. And there's nothing wrong with them at that point. If the, um, number of light hours reduces. Thanks for joining me on this and thanks for watching and if you're not already subscribed please subscribe and like and share it with a friend. Um, this is kind of a, a mid-season update that people miss and they say oh I've already adjusted my lights uh, I have to adjust them again. Yeah you might have to adjust them again and you might have to adjust them again before um, winter's over. So um, thank you and have a wonderful day. So I don't have any filters on the camera or anything like that. You can see this is the rope light, there's the door. 
And there's more birds. And you can see how bright it is. And if you look out the door, that's how dark it is outside. You can see the sky there above my fence. It's almost all the light is out of the sky. And that just gives you an idea of how much light a rope light produces. So again, that's right next to it. And as I go around, um, this is underneath the the rabbit hutch and there is some aviary netting underneath that to prevent them from bumping their heads. But there is plenty of light uh, from the rope light. So I will put a link to the rope light down below in case you guys want to try that out. And they're all doing great.